Hi. Welcome to the tutorial. This video is just first in series of videos where we create a new league and new teams in FIFA 22. First, we should spend some time planning. You probably already know what league and teams you want to add. Now, we just need to find a league and FIFA game that match the numbers of clubs. After much consideration I have decided to replace Austrian Bundesliga. It has 12 teams which is the same as my custom league. It's in Europe meaning it will be part of Champions and Europa Leagues. Let's go to the desktop. Before we can access any files we need some tools. FIFA Editor Tool. Two great tools to help us with database. DB Master and RDBM22. Both made by Ronaldo and Fidel. We will also use FIFA banner template created by Damien. And lastly, FIFA 22 ID Google Spreadsheet, with all IDs that are required. We are going to start with two tools as we are going to change the team names in FIFA 22 to our custom team name. We are replacing Austrian Bundesliga with Bosnian Premier League which is my custom league. You of course can pick any league you like. Assuming you download it and installed the tools let's open FIFA Editor Tool. You'll be greeted with a selection screen and you can see all game versions you have installed on your hard drive. Select FIFA 22 and let it load. It might take some time as the editor will search for all the files. Now we want to name our project before we start editing. Name the file anything you want. The file has .fifa project extension. Save the file. Check out the UI of the FIFA editor. You'll notice on top left two more tabs. Data Explorer and Legacy Explorer. In Data Explorer we work with textures while Legacy Explorer contains mostly XML and DB files. We'll be working on both but let's start with changing the names of the clubs by editing files in Legacy Explorer. Select Legacy Explorer and just under the tab there is a search field. Type ENG underscore US or whatever language you have the FIFA setup. Just below the search is Data folder. Click on Data then click on LOC. In bottom left table you'll see several files. We need to export two of them. ENG underscore US and ENG underscore US dash meta. Make sure you save them in the same folder. Way to export them is just right click on the file then export. Okay. We save these two files now we need FIFA Master 15 Tool aka okay, DB Master. Let's open the DB Master and click on File then click on Open DB. Navigate to the same folder where we just saved those two files. Select ENG underscore US dash meta and click Open. The file window will reopen and select second file we exported, ENG underscore US. After these files load you will see on the left two lines. Language Strings 1 and Language Strings 2. On the right you have three columns, hash ID, string ID, and source text. Above these three columns there is a search field. In order to do anything here we need to know IDs for all our clubs. This is when the Google spreadsheet comes in. Open the spreadsheet and find the first team you want to change. In my case I'm starting with Red Bull Salzburg. This is first team I want to change the name to one of the boss name clubs. Let's say FK Sarajevo. So look at the spreadsheet and locate Red Bull Salzburg. The team ID is 191. This is very important because every time you're doing anything regarding this team, changing kits or banners or flags you will need this ID. Now that I know ID for RB Salzburg is 191, I can go back to FIFA Master and in search field type 191 and select string ID in the drop down field. Hit search or enter. You'll notice highlighted field below that look like this. Team name underscore BBR10 underscore 191. 191 is the team ID as we mentioned earlier. Change the name in the source text from Red Bull Salzburg to Sarajevo or whatever team you want. 
What is important here to know, you never want to change any lines under the column hash ID or string ID you only changing source text column. Since the name of the team shows in many different places in the game you will continue to search for ID 191. Again, type 191 in search, select string ID and hit search. Next highlighted line is team name underscore abbr15 underscore 191. Meaning I can change Red Bull Salzburg on this line but since I have up to 15 characters I can type FK Sarajevo this time. Do this as many times until you change all lines with ID 191. This you'll have to do with language string 1 and language string 2. Be careful. You're going to have teams with similar IDs like 1 191 or 11911. Make sure not to change those. This you will do for every team in your league but not just the teams, league and national team as well. All these IDs can be found on the same spreadsheet. Remember I am changing Austrian league and Austrian national team so I need IDs for those. Austrian league has also a unique ID number 80 so I'll have to change that line from Austrian Bundesliga to Premier League.
According to Google Spreadsheet, the ID for Austrian national team is 1322. So I'm looking to change every line that says Austria to Bosnia and Herzegovina. And the last thing we need is ID for the nationality. It's ID number 4. When finished, save the file which will automatically overwrite both files on your hard drive. ENG underscore US and ENG underscore US dash meta but we need to import this into FIFA Editor. Go back to FIFA Editor where we started. In Legacy Explorer search again for ENG underscore US and locate the files. Right click on each file and import files with the same name from your hard drive. Save.
Before you can see it in the game you will need to turn this into a mod. Now, in FIFA Editor Tool click on File then Export to Mod. In your main folder where you keep your project make a new folder and name it Mods. Name the file but add a version number within a name. Something like this. Why are we making a mod? We only change the names. What's the point? Well, we want to check how all that looks in the game just in case we messed up or missed something. If we don't fix it now it's going to be difficult later to trace the problem. Once you save the mod, power up the mod manager and test your game. In the next episode we should talk about organizing our project, creating a folder structure for all our teams and adding team badges. Until next time.